Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'll be showing you guys my 45 minute workout. However, I'm only showing you the first set, which is why it is 15 minutes. First, we're going to start off with our standing toe touch stretch and here you do the center, the left, the right. You honestly don't have to follow that pattern exactly, but make sure you hit all three of those and do it for 20 seconds. Then we'll move to our quadriceps thigh stretch for both legs for 20 seconds. Then we do the cross body bicep stretch where you stretch both arms for 20 seconds. Then we move on over to my overhead tricep stretch. I add, like to add my little twist to it, and I like to use my other arm to pull the other arm down to make sure I get the proper stretch as you can see. And I have my standing bicep stretch in which I stretch both arms for 20 seconds. Then I just wiggle my arms around, and then I do my open gate, closed gate. So I walk with my legs open, for each side for 20 seconds and then walk back another 20 seconds. I repeat the standing toe touch stretch except this time I'll be sitting down. Again, we're doing the center, then the left leg, then the right leg. Afterwards, we move on to the butterfly stretch. You put both legs together in a butterfly position. You can flap your wings if you want or not, but I just thought it was funny. Then we move on over to the playboy position, which is basically doing a twist. And as you can see, we are getting the stretch and you should feel it in your glutes and around your sacral and lumbar area. And if you don't, then that means you're definitely not doing it right. Then we move on to my favorite position, which is called the seated figure four stretch. Again, we do that on both legs for 20 seconds. After you're done with that, that concludes my basic everyday pre-workout stretch. Next we move on to the ab portion. I literally almost do abs at least two or three times a week whenever I'm actually consistently going to the gym. Next, we move on to the plank. As you can see, I hold a plank position where my back is flat for 45 seconds. I do this three times. I honestly don't remember the last time I did a plank prior to actually working out on this trip, but I don't know if you can see, but I was definitely shaking. Next, we move on to the alternate heel touches where you have your arms extended down your side and your palms facing in, and then you crunch your torso forward and to the right until you touch your right heel with your right hand and your left heel to your left hand, and you can continue repeating that until you're done.
we have the bicycle crunches and as you can see I like to alternate and have my left knee touching my right elbow and my right knee touching my left elbow and you continue this motion until your 45 seconds are up. Next, you sit and elongate your legs and try to angle them at a 45 degree angle from the floor, creating a V-shape with your thighs and your torso. And then you, any, you could either do this with a ball or without a ball, but I chose to do add weights to it since I am a bit more advanced with that. Next, we move on over to the shoulder press, and as I was doing this, I realized that I actually have more power in my right hand than my left hand, so I would sometimes play with the weight to see which one I was more comfortable with. Some of them my right hand was more comfortable with than my left hand, but adjust it to your liking and keep moving forward. If you pay attention carefully, you can see how my right arm sometimes comes down quicker than my left arm and vice versa, which is so weird, but it is also normal. Which I find funny because the guy who works there, I became friends with him and he was talking to me about how one of my arms come down quicker than the other, so that was a conversation starter. Following it up, we have the seated low row, and here I do three sets of 12 reps again.
last but not least we have the seated chest press again I do three sets of 12 reps Now that concludes my workout and don't forget to stretch. That's also a vital component of your entire workout because sometimes I forget to do that and then I end up hurting myself more than I intended to. Tuning in, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I can't wait to see you on the next video.